everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY gift basket or whatever you want to call it for your friend, your best friend, your significant other, your boyfriend, your wife, your husband, or whoever. But this is for my best friend that I've known since the first. So here's what I did. I took everything that she liked, Disney, Pink, and Star Wars, and combined it into this amazing basket I will show you in a minute. But first, if you haven't heard already, I have a new podcast out on Anchor. It's called Stories with Sharing, where I tell my hilarious, my most embarrassing, my funny, and maybe my favorite stories from high school or other stories that I have my friends on there and everything else in between. So if you haven't already, check it out on Anchor. I'll have it linked below and make sure to go check that out. So on to the this basket idea. So first what I did is I had to find a basket or a bag and I decided to look at Hobby Lobby, which I have on right now. And I decided to paint it pink. And this is what it came out with. You can see pink wooden basket. And of course, there's a tag on the bottom of it. And I decided to make or buy everything. And first, you gotta start off with a card. So I decided to make a card. And the card is actually very special. I decided to make cards for my friends and buy them because I feel like that's more convenient for me to save some money. And you know, you have to fold a white piece of paper and crease it at the edge to make a nice card for your friend or whoever you're getting. It. So this is what it turned out to be. I put some printed out, cut out, things on there and I had personalized what I thought she would like. Okay. Goes up. And I saw this TikTok hack where they make a box out of those foldable Christmas boxes. And that is what I did too. And on there also, and I took Google and I just put out these fonts for what I thought was okay. And the box is empty for the time being. And I will show you everything that I decided to get her in the next. But I think this was a really good idea because my best friend and I have been the best friends for a long time. And everything that I got here is very interesting but this could be for anyone but if you decide to make something make it special what my motto is and this is a canvas with her name on it that i had made myself it's not the best but i feel like she needs some decor in her house so that is one thing that i decided to do and another thing go off their interests is very, very good for me. So, and I'm going to assemble it very soon before I see her in a while. But this is what I'm going to be lining it with. Tissue paper, regular old tissue paper. Since it's around Valentine's Day, it is going to be First off, I wanted to show you something that I thought she would really like. And I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite gifts I ever got anybody. Um, and this is it. This is from Vera Bradley. It is a large cosmetic bag. It actually has a name on it. On the other side. Her, her name and then her initial. I'm going to show you what's inside. You can get this on Dear Bradley and 
I thought she could use this for all of her traveling needs. Um, you might not expect all these things, but since it's the middle of the pandemic, I may as well spoil my best friend this year, as you can see the top. And then for the actual um, holiday, Valentine's Day nerd course, I made this or bought this from my local Dollar Tree and boom. And just in case you're wondering where the paint comes from, I got it off of Hobby Lobby and it is pink. And now, um, and some other things I got from my local stores is I mentioned that she likes Disney, so I went off of that thing. So this is a sweat shirt from Walmart. It says what your princess mood. Today I saw a TikTok video with the same shirt and I thought this would be really cute for my best friend. I don't know if they sell it, but at the time, and her pink theme also is good too because I got her this and then in the pink theme if you have someone who likes a certain color, go with it and go big with it. And this, I love Sally Hansen's Insta Dry um, nail polish. This is pink. Hoping to do a podcast with her coming up here soon so I can tell her what she thought of all the gifts. You might be thinking, aren't you going a little overboard? I do everything for this best friend of mine. And and now there is in Target the New Day t shirt. These things have been in bags for a while, so they're all crinkly and they're all messed up, but I kept all the receipts. So when the time comes, I can finally, you know, give everything. And for your little um, heart content for Disney and Pixar, And for her final gift, I liked Christmas. This is not completely ready, but it arrived today and I am very excited. I got this from Pebbles and Pastels Prints off of Etsy. And this is what I had received. I got myself a copy too. So I can have the same thing that you will have. But um, this is a personalized Disney um, drawing of me and my best friend. Um, did amazing. Still in the package because I don't want it to smudge anything in the game. So I love it. And what I have planned for all of this. Oh, and one more. Yeah, so I forgot. And this, um, since she would have had a bath bomb, but due to some complications, I got her this pink 
uh, bubble bath from our local uh, Walmart on its bathhouse. It's a uh, Moroccan oil, unicorn dreams. And that is pretty much everything I got for my best friend for the birthday. But I wanted to give you an idea of what this could look like. I'm going to turn my camera on. Excuse the mess of that behind me. So if I decide I want to put... So I have this in here, obviously. And then I have this box right here to set in. And then I have this and the picture in the frame right here. And I take all of these things and put them in there and display them. That I think would be your best bet with all of the ideas. And if you want to display some of the items on here and you can hide the rest, that's totally fine. I know I would want to take the card and put it right there along with the bubble bath. So you can see kind of what I'm trying to get at for your significant other or your best friend like I did here. Obviously, my best friend is not expecting any of this. If she wanted to spoil a little bit, but I didn't really think that was a smart, but the one-time deal, but I wanted to give you some other tips too on how you can spoil your But, um, but, yeah. Um, but you can find a lot of these other uh, ideas on your, on Pinterest. I have um, a lot of interesting um, gift ideas on my Pinterest. Like that down below too. And, and, um, and no matter what, the thing gets special, no matter what. And I think you would love to do that also. If you're asking to do, if you're wanting to do something special, unexpected, you can also do this for a non-holiday and just if they're not feeling that well. So I think that is also smart. This was tailored for my best friend. You can do it for anyone. And you can do it smaller. You can do it bigger. You could basically take that box and make it and fold it and staple it. Well, we thought about it. And you can put everything in that box. And just do it. Um, I will probably make some more DIY videos, hopefully, in the coming future. Maybe some collabs with, um, with brands. And hopefully this has helped you in your journey. Or if that's giving you an idea for any Valentine's gifts, ideas, or any birthday or anniversary or any sympathy presents just to give you a sense of accomplishment. That will be all from me today, but make sure to check out my podcast, check out my, my Instagram and my Facebook and my Pinterest, and I will link all of them down below. And I hope you all have a good day, spread love, spread joy, and spread happiness, and be safe.